Well, uh, this is the cubic function, and the question is focusing the most uh, when you're finding the values of k, where f at x is equal to k has to cut the graph into the given number of times. Now, the f at x is given as x cubed minus 3x uh, minus 2, and the function is drawn. The turning points are given, as you can see. Now the question asks us to determine the values of k for which f at x is equal to k have two real roots, have three real roots, and also have one real root. So uh, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to determine the value of k when the function is given or the function can can be can be it can be asked to you to draw it and answer based on what you have drawn so you need now to be in a point whereby you'll be able to find the values of k and um, considering the nature of the question so now let's determine let's find number one determine the values of k at, for which the f at x is equal to k have two real roots we are not going to shift the graph the way I'm going to do it. We're not going to shift the graph. Instead, we are going to shift the what? The x-axis. We are going to shift the x-axis uh, as the what? As the function of k. As the function of k. So if I can give you the clue hint of this thing, if we may have the this line, if we may have this line and we say k, this is the value of k. Let's say this line hence to know that we have uh, negative 4 as the minimum uh, turning point. Um, we have negative 4. Let's say this one is just negative 2. Let's say k is equal to negative 2. How many times does this uh, equation of k uh, cross or touch or intersect this graph of f? We can see it is intersecting it here. This is 1 intersecting it here. This is 2 intersecting it here. This is 3 times. So we are not looking for this one. We are not looking for this one because we are looking for wherever what? Two real roots, which means the roots, it, it has to cut this uh, function into two, 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 into two and that's, it's going to have two intersections. That's what it means. So now let's have a look at this uh, uh, line, which is the what? Another line of k, another line of k. And uh, let's say this k is just equal to, k is equal to, let's say a k is equal to 3. Let's say this is 3, and you can see that when k is equal to 3, the what? The graph is touched only at that point, which means there is only one root when k is equal to 3. When k is equal to 4, only one root. When k is equal to uh, 100, it's going to touch only this, uh, this wing. So now let's talk about this one. When it is going to touch uh, the graph or it is going to be having two real roots. Let's uh, focus on this uh, x, x axis. Let's focus on this x axis. Can you see? Let's say the value of k is exactly the x axis. So k now is equal to zero because with x axis, k is equal to zero. Hence, I said k is just the normal function, which means f at x is equal to k, where k is equal to zero. Then, how many times does that value or that uh, function k touch the, this graph? We can see it is touching it here. This is one and it is touching exactly at the turning point, which is two times. So which means now we can conclude to say, all right, the values of k where f of x equal to k uh, have two real roots. It's what? It's k is equal to zero because you can see that this line is touching this graph twice here and there. Now, is that the only one? That we have so far let's check now because we have seen that this uh, question is having a relationship with the the, 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 the the intersection in the what in the turning point let's take a look how about we add our f our k b exactly uh, here let's say it is touching our graph 
at this uh, turning point again, which means it's going to have this intersection as well as this intersection, which means it's still uh, continuing to agree with this condition of have two railroads, which means uh, K is equal to zero and another one, which means we say odd in this case, which means we say K is equal to negative four. 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 So this is another value of K where this function uh, touch this graph or intersect this graph twice, which means it is having two real roots. So I think we are covered with the first question. Let's go to the second question. Uh, determine the values of k uh, of, for which f at x is equal to k um, have three real roots. Have now three real roots. Have now three real roots. You can see the line that we've drawn here. You can see the line that we've drawn here. It was touching this graph here, here, and there, which means this could be the solution of our value of k. Even if we can draw it here, even if we can draw it here, you can see that we have one, we have two, we have three. Now, we have three real roots when k is equal to, let's say k is equal to a negative one. In this case, let's say this one is not just what? Negative one. So you can see that in this interval, in this range, in this range, in this range, K is going to touch this graph three times. It's going to touch this graph three times. So what is going to be your interval of K now? Well, the interval of K, of course, was concentrating on the what? The Y values. This value is equal to zero. Then the Y value here is equal to zero. So our K, our K, we can see that this thing of cutting the graph uh, three times, is only happening uh, between negative 4 and 0. So k should be greater than negative 4, not greater or equal to, but greater than what? Negative 4. But it must not exceed what? It must not exceed 0, which means x k is greater than negative 4, but less than 0. So this is the information we have uh, to answer the second question where the, 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 the value of k have um, three real roots, which means it is only happening here. It is only happening here because whatever line or whatever function of k you can draw between negative four and zero, it is going to cut your graph three times. So it's gonna have three real roots. Let's go to the last one, which means number three. Have only one root, have only one root, this giving you the clue now, which the graph is the, the, the our function of k is not gonna be here, it's not gonna be exactly at zero and negative four, rather, it has to be above this zero or below this negative four. So, to answer that question, because the value of k, when you draw the value of k above zero, you are going to get only one uh, root, and even if you draw it. Uh, just below the what below negative four. Remember this graph is continuing. It's gonna have only one real root. So to conclude by answering the answer of that thing, say k must be must be greater than what must be greater than zero. Must be greater than this zero or k must be what? K must be less than what? Negative. So this is basically where the, the views of K whereby uh, it, this, graph, this graph will have only one real root. So these values, these dotted values are just the image of X uh, axis when you are shifting it, when you are shifting it. Let's just shift the X axis by the value of uh, K. Hence, you can see that the value, the value of K is differ um, by considering the what the nature of the question. So um, other questions may come, uh, but the idea is the same. So please uh, use uh, this method if you are uh, comfortable or if you have any other way of doing it. Please don't um, uh, hesitate to, uh, of course, 
try to do it. Otherwise, this one is the best for the understanding of people who may find it difficult to answer such a question. So, by the way, uh, this is what I have prepared for you in this video. Uh, I hope you, 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 you enjoy it as much as I would like you to.